Okay, so everybody, thanks for joining this webinar. Today we're going to look at Microsoft Teams rules for shared spaces. We have recently announced a lot of new features uh, regarding new capabilities, abilities or features from the Microsoft Teams rooms. So let's dig into some of the new features that we are aware of already. Many of you have known the Microsoft Teams devices as a Windows based solution, but we will be looking into that. The collab bar will change the name very soon. So they will be called Microsoft Teams or Teams Rooms on Android. And then we will have so both Teams on Android and Teams on Windows. So we will see a lot of the same features and user experience as on the collab bar that we have on the Microsoft Teams Rooms as of today. We have also seen the Surface Hub, which are used in shared spaces, so both in meeting rooms, but also in meeting areas where we want to collaborate with each other. And the Microsoft Surface Hub have also recently got its new update, so it's now not running on Windows 17.03 anymore. You can actually update it so it's running on Windows 10 2020 update, and then you will have a lot of new features, first of all, Looking from the IT perspective, you will have more features and abilities to manage the device, but we will also see an improvement on the user experience. So for instance, we are now able to, after the installation of the Windows 2020 update, you will also be able to install or run the provisioning package. So you will have the new Edge browser, which is basically much more user friendly than with the one we had before. So now we will be able to, for instance, have a sync between my devices. So if I have any favorites that I'm using quite a lot, I could basically just sign into my device, go to my new Edge Chromium browser and then sync. And then I will have all my own uh, features or favorites that I'm usually having. So moving on to the next slide. So. Another thing that many of you maybe not is aware of already is that we actually have two different licenses that we are able to use into the shared spaces. So the license meeting room is now divided up to two or we have actually added an extra one. So you will be able to have the meeting room standard and the meeting room premium. So, uh, and from that perspective, you will now be able to run. Or, oh, let's take a step backwards. So, before we got the meeting room license, many of you were running the Surface Hub or the Microsoft Teams rooms on an E5 or an E3 license. That is, if you're looking into the license specification, not the right way to do it. So, you should add the meeting room license instead. First of all, you got everything you need on a meeting room license standard, both for the Microsoft Teams rooms and for the Surface Hub. Another thing is, from your perspective, it's cheaper than the E5 and the E3 license, so you should definitely swap to the meeting room license. So, looking into the new offer that Microsoft has done, is that they have built a meeting room premium license and from the premium license perspective, you will now get a much better service level agreement with Microsoft. So they will proactively look into your environment, making sure that my your Microsoft Teams rooms is always up to date on the best Windows version and the best app version. They are also looking into your peripherals. So if you have added a Microsoft Teams certified device, they will make sure that everything is running perfectly for you. And if you find any issues or things that you want to have Microsoft to look at, you will, as an IT guy, be able to call directly to Microsoft and they will be able to provide you the best service up front straight ahead. So if you have meeting rooms with a high attention or some meeting rooms, for instance, a boardroom, or in the auditorium, you would definitely need to look into the premium license. So let's go to the next slide. So what have we seen in 
some of the new features. It's out there already, but you will be able to have coordinated meetings. It was used to be called coordinated join. Now it's transferred into coordinated meetings with Microsoft Teams rooms. So let's see if you got a Microsoft Teams rooms installed in one of your meeting rooms, but you would like to have this more kind of engaged and uh, interactive meetings, you will be able to move your service up into the meeting rooms, into the meeting room and be able to join the same meeting with both the Microsoft Teams rooms using the camera, the speakers, the microphones from that system, but using the Surface Hub as your interactive display, being able to use a Microsoft Whiteboard, but also collaborate in each and every one of the Office products that could be run on the Surface Hub. It's a great experience, actually. So basically what we've been told is that it's able to do it with a Microsoft Teams rooms and the Surface Hub, and that is the scenario that Microsoft explains a lot about, but it is actually also able to be installed on two Surface Hub or on two Microsoft Teams rooms. So imagine that people is asking for a meeting room where they would like to have the ability to have two cameras on at the same time in the Microsoft Teams meeting, then do a coordinated meeting with two Microsoft Teams rooms or two Microsoft Surface Hubs just. So for instance, one of our cases here at, in Denmark is that we are going to install two Surface Hub 85 inch side by side used for a town hall meeting and then we will install it in coordinated meeting and so we kind of make the surface up works together and the first display will always be used for the video feed and the secondary display will always be used for the content when what's good about that is that we will have the best experience from both the speakers and the microphones but we will also have this dual display so we are able to see everybody on the remote distance and people will get the ability to walk up to the second service up and draw on the service up and everybody will be included into that meeting and will be able to see everything which is drawn on the Microsoft whiteboard. So and the next thing is so yeah just a few things about the Microsoft Teams rooms, coordinated meetings. So this is how it would look like. If you join the hit button, the secondary display would automatically join as well. And you will also be one of the new features that we will see on the Microsoft Teams rooms is that we will be able to work with Cortana. So for instance, just like when I'm using my Lenovo ThinkSmart View, I'm saying, hey Cortana, join my next meeting and the meeting actually joins. So this is a setting that you will need to set on your Microsoft Teams rooms, but it's a great feature. And especially if you don't want to touch the display in front of you, you could actually just say, hey, Katana, join my next meeting. And that's a very simple setting in the admin. So looking at the rebranded, so Microsoft Teams on Android, what we will see in the future wise, F the things that we know already is the Poly X series and the Lay Yaling series, but we will also be able to see um, Microsoft Teams devices on Android from several other vendors very soon. So in the start of 2021, we'll see the first ones rolling out from interesting partners as far as I understand so far. Looking into the Microsoft Teams rooms on Android, it will still be used for huddle-based environments and medium-sized meeting rooms. It will not have an option for adding external cameras, external microphones, external speakers. So looking at that, it will still be a great product, but still on a um, lower in participants in the meeting rooms. But the good thing about the Teams on Android is it's very fast to set up. So it's it's basically just one unit you put into, um, yeah, you display your screen and then add uh, anything, just 
on top of that. So basically a very easy installations. So not a huge effort for the installations guy to do it or if you do it by yourself. One thing that we will experience in the start of next year that we will see devices that support dual display uh, or dual screen. That's one of the things that was the big difference between uh, the MTR, which is now called uh, Teams Rooms on Windows. They have been able to support dual display for quite a while and the Android versions was not able to do that. But looking forward, we will see devices supporting dual display as well. And another thing that I'm really happy about is that Microsoft is updating the software on, on the application running the Teams on the Android based version. So it will look very much like the Microsoft Teams rooms as of today. And I think that is a great experience for you as a user because it was, this would make it so much easier. And honestly, I think the old software version of the Android based version wasn't really that user friendly. So this is a huge step forward on the Android based versions. Another thing that we will see is a touchless meeting experience. So we will have a app which could be installed on our phone and then we will be able to uh, join the meeting in the meeting, adjust the volume, mute the camera, mute the microphone. So we will have our own ability to grab our phone and control the meeting from a simple app on your phone connected to your meeting system. Another thing that I also really like is that we will have this wireless cast features basically just like we have today when we have been in a meeting we can do this uh, mobile companion where we join the same meeting on our phone or on a laptop join the same meeting but without the microphones and speakers cameras activated then we will be able to share content from our phone. The issue was that we always needed to be in the meeting to actually um, share the content. And even though we have a lot of video meeting and Teams meetings, there are still meetings where we are in the meeting room, but we are not in a call and we want to share some content with our colleagues uh, that is in the room. And this wireless cast will be a great feature for that. So one of the guys that I really like to follow on LinkedIn, he shares a lot of great content is Graham Walls. So if you doesn't follow him already, I would definitely recommend to follow him on LinkedIn. He shares some great posts and he also did a great uh, video about which kind of differences that we see on Android based versions compared to the Microsoft Teams version that we have seen already. So first of all, of course, um, Android is a pretty new uh, platform. Microsoft Teams uh, on Windows have been out there for, can't really remember how many years, I think it's four years already or something like that. So the first Skype, for, Skype room system, uh, the Logitech feature, uh, oh, sorry, the Logitech Smart Dog was the first version that I worked with, and I think that is around four years ago already. So HDMI ingest is one of the differences, although we will be able to see HDMI ingest on the Android based version as well. Um, but definitely one, one thing that I'm really looking forward to is support for multiple cameras on the MTR versions or the Teams Teams rooms on Windows versions. For me, it's still quite complicated to remember all the names that we change all the time. Um, I know that we have been able to work with multiple cameras on the Teams rooms already, but only in Skype for Business. Uh, so for instance, I used to co uh, connect up to uh, four cameras on my MTR running on Skype for Business, changing from different camera views during a meeting, or even if you were doing events, it would be great to swap between those cameras. I'm not really aware of how many cameras we will be able to support, but definitely multiple cameras uh, would be supported for that 
uh, uh, hopefully very soon, but it doesn't really have a date yet on it. So I uh, actually think that this was my last slide. Oh, no, this is my last slide. A great uh, web page that you should be following if you're into the Microsoft Teams room devices. So definitely go to akm.ms slash MTR roadmap. You will be able to see everything in roadmap on the Microsoft Teams rooms. And also you can be looking into other roadmap things. So things that is already launched, things that is in development and things that is also looking into when they will be out there. So thanks a lot for watching. This was actually just a short run through of some of the new features on Microsoft Teams rooms and the service up. I am Lars Bell working at Tech Data Maverick out of the office in Copenhagen. Thanks for watching. See you out there. Bye.